Uh, so I want to come back here and show you all what then happened. So we've been having several thunderstorms within the last or within the past week. And this is the aftermath. My table is long gone. I don't know if I can like replace the glass that was in this. I'm not 100% sure. If not, I'm just gonna have to take this to the recycling center because yeah, you guys, when I came out the other day, I was so sad. But this is what the back patio was looking at. My husband cleaned up most of the glass. If I could find a picture like where, like all how the glass shattered, I'll leave it up above. But yeah, this is what my back patio is looking like now, y'all. A hot mess, a hot, disgusting mess. But I am going to come out here and clean it up yet again hopefully all of the thunderstorms have passed i think yesterday it or not yesterday but last night it stormed really bad again and i looked at the forecast and it doesn't look like it's going to storm anymore like i said this basket is out here because my husband uh, was cleaning up the glass yeah all in the paper bag it's a hot mess back here you guys so all I'm gonna do is clean up back here. I doubt if I like scrub anything, but we'll see. Hey beautiful lovelies, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So in today's video, as you all can see, I have a disaster on my hands. We've been having a lot of storms here in South Carolina and one of the storms just broke, shattered my table as you can see. So I am gonna be cleaning up in my back patio. My husband did go ahead and clean up most of the glass. So now I'm just doing like the aftermath and rearranging stuff. Not 100% sure if I'm gonna be getting rid of the table and finding a new one. If I do get a new one, it most definitely will not be glass again. But I wasn't sure if I can like have someone put, I don't know, wood or something in this table or if I should just go ahead and recycle it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. But right now I am just removing all of the chairs, all of the patio furniture off of the concrete and I'm just going to give it a good sweep. Later on, I am going to use a wet back, but I'll show you guys what I do with that a little later. So this basket has like glass and stuff in it when my husband cleaned it up and of course it had been raining a lot so it has rainwater in it as well so I'm struggling to pull it along. Uh, it was extremely heavy. <laughs> by thirst i'm inspired by worth i desire your worst so you can just hide while i work i ain't tired you first i'll write a second third verse about the lies you go disperse you never did i know it hurts but something deep inside won't let me quit i swear that i'm inspired by all this
So this is where I'm just showing you where all of the glass fragments were. They were everywhere, including in the grass, which is why we picked up a wet vacuum so I can vacuum out the grass. But like I said, it was everywhere. We made the mistake of leaving the umbrella in like the table hole, which you shouldn't do, especially when it's like a really bad windy storm, thunderstorm, whatever. So I guess that's my fault for doing that. But yeah, I really wasn't thinking like when it starts to rain, the last thing you want to do is go outside and get the umbrella out of the table. But I wish I would have done that. I look back at the camera a lot throughout this video because it was like uh, almost a hundred degrees and sometimes my camera was sitting in the sun and I was just making sure it hadn't like powered off because it had became too hot so yeah I keep looking back at the camera like a crazy person but that was just making sure that my camera didn't turn off Now I'm just going to go ahead and put all of the furniture back. We had ordered a wet vacuum and we're just waiting for it to arrive. So instead of leaving everything out in the grass because, you know, I live in a townhouse that I rent and we're not allowed to leave stuff on the grass. So I had to move everything back onto the porch. I am going to go ahead and get the wet vacuum and vacuum the porch off all over again i'll show you all bits and pieces of that again with the table i'm probably just going to go ahead and recycle it simply because i don't know who i would even go to to see if they could put another table in here but i'm just going to go ahead and like i said get rid of it and just only have chairs in that little table back there in the, on the patio
All right, so I want to show you guys how there is still glass in the grass. We ordered a shock vacuum today is Monday and it won't be here until tomorrow. So it's glass like way out in the yard. And of course I'm not gonna use my in-home, my in-house vacuum. So I'm gonna just wait until that vacuum gets here tomorrow. And then I'm gonna have to just, just to remove everything. I'm gonna just remove all of this stuff back off of the patio again. Let me know in the comments down below if I can replace the glass for this table. I don't know. I, I might just like, take it to if it fits in my car i'll just take it to the recycling center but yeah that is what it's looking like as of right now like oh yeah you know what it's like glass i don't know if you guys can see it but it's like glass all within the cracks so i need a vacuum to actually suck that out but while i have things out of the way i'm gonna go ahead and refill my tiki torches uh cans i don't know why i just sounded like that you guys but yeah this is what it is looking like as of right now i don't plan on like to shampoo to, <laughs> i don't know what it's called but i don't plan on shampooing the cement at all not no time soon because you know i'm in the south and the temperature is rising i think tomorrow's gonna be like almost 100 so i won't be able to do it till after work so hopefully the sun is like way down yeah like i said this is what it is looking like So I had just finished working out, so pay no attention to my attire, but this is the shock vacuum that we ordered. It does a really good job. It has great suction, you guys. So I, like I said, there was glass all throughout the grass and what I can see, I went ahead and sucked up. I tried my best not to suck up little bugs or anything, but if I did, I am so sorry for them. <laughs> So here is what it looks like. Thank you all so very much for clicking on today's video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that you're notified each and every time I upload a new video. Bye.